Hey, how's it going? Time to improve the flow of my Vortec heads. First off, I just want to say I am not a professional porter, but I am a DIYer, and I'm going to do some flow improvements to my cylinder heads. Now, I believe anyone can make modest gains with some patience and practice. So, let's head out to the workshop and get started. So here's the plan. I'm just going to do a basic bowl job, clean up those ridges and make the transitions nice and smooth. Then I will clean up the chambers. You know, nothing too serious. I'm not going to polish them. And then I will move on to the runners. I'm just going to run a cart, roll through them, knock some of that buildup out of there out. I'm not doing a full cleanup or port job on these heads. But as you can see, there's plenty of buildup that the parts washer didn't get. And if I have time, I'm going to polish up the exhaust port some. Also, here's a quick tip. If you're like me and forget to spray your heads down when you pull them out of the part washer right away with WD-40, then you're going to maybe get a little bit of flash rust on your valve seats. And to take care of that, you can use some mother's wheel polish, just a little dab on your finger, and work it around, and wipe it off with a rag, and voila. Now, if this is some you know high-end project, you just want to get maybe get you know a touch up on your valve job, or if they're really rusty, you will need a touch up on your valve job. But this is a budget project. These heads are basically just practice for the better, you know, fresh heads on my Vortec crate engine. And I don't really care. I'm just going to slap them together. I'm going to run them for who knows on that old crappy engine in my car and they'll get a they'll get replaced or the whole engine will get replaced eventually. So, let's get started. Progress report time. This is where we started and here's where we're at now. To get here, I just took a burr and worked those sharp edges down to I got the nice radius shape I wanted. From there to there. Now, you don't want to go crazy because you know some people call this this area in here the throat or venture or whatever, you know. You can Google and check that out. This isn't really a porting guy, this is just me showing what I'm doing. So, that size can be important depending on your goals. And from what I can tell, they're pretty close for modest, you know, street performance. So, you don't want to enlarge them too much. Just give them a nice good radius. Now, for the exhaust, as you can see over here, they were really gummed up. And if you watched my previous videos, you saw that when I did the lead down test and the exhaust ones weren't in too good a shape. You know, it's because of all this junk. And you can't even see below the actual <coughs> 45, the second cut, or the third cut, or whatever, whatever you, got. you know what I'm talking about. So, I had to take a stainless steel wire brush and work that all off, get all that gum off there. Since I'm going to lap the exhaust valves anyway, I went ahead and just, you know, got the valve job too. It's pretty gummed up. So, you may want to be careful if you're using the brush, but it's pretty hard not to hit the valve job. I didn't do that on the intakes, just the exhaust. So, just FYI. And I will be lapping the exhaust in a future video. Maybe the intakes. We'll see. We'll see how much time I have. So, here we get another angle. See a little more of what I've done. A few small spots I fixed here and there, but I didn't want to go crazy. I don't want to put a lot of time in these cylinder heads. The exhaust ports, I need to pay a little more attention to them because I mean, just running your finger through them, they were crazy rough. I mean, they're like 30 some grit sandpaper, so I just, I mean, it's all 
carbon and crusty casting flash. That's all rusty underneath. So it was almost mandatory for me to smooth them out. And I'm gonna just do the whole port. So not no no high sheen polish. Just when your exhaust ports are rougher than your intake ports, that's not the good. That's not good. <laughs> the intake ports are fine, but the exhaust ports needs more more attention. Then I'm over here on this head. I've started on the chambers. By the way, here's a DIY headstand. I really like this. You know, just a couple angle cuts. And you can slide your head around nice and easy on your table or work area. No, oh, it's like that now. I can't, I can't get it positioned right without with one hand. <laughs> I got my dummy plugs and dummy valves in. That way I protect the threads and protect the valve seats. Because if I hit them with the you know the carbide or the stones, then those valves I'll definitely need a valve job. They'll be, they'll be wrecked. You know almost maybe beyond repair if you hit them really really good. So you definitely need to protect, protect those. I made these in a previous video so you can check that out if you want but basically I'm just going for a cleanup I worked this spark plug boss down a little bit on the intake side not a ton just a little bit and back around I worked these sharp angles down a little bit you can see kind of the the stalactites and build up on this one right here. I just wanted to show you it was the worst one. So that's where I'm at. I like to use burrs for the shaping. Then I use some core stones and some finer stones. Long cast iron, you can get away with that. Aluminum, you just clog them up. Some people use a little bit of WD-40, but you know I don't want to keep spraying it. I'm in a tight, small area, so I prefer stones and cart rolls for aluminum. And I get my consumables from Mastercard. This is just one of their bags. Now, some of their stuff I like, some of the stuff I don't. So, you know, everyone has their preference. You, know, you just got to see what you like. Oh, next I gotta get the back to. Well, after I get all this done, I gotta, I gotta clean up these intake runners as well. Cause check this out. Look at all that nasty build up in there. I just gotta knock all that stuff out with a cart roll real quick. And it will flow better than just just because of that. <laughs> so. I better quit messing around and get back to work. Now, this is the part of the video where I should be showing you the <coughs> Vortex cylinder heads all done. But this happened. I got a really good deal. Too good to pass up on these cylinder heads. So it looks like I won't be finishing up those Vortex cylinder heads anytime soon. I do still have to do the Vortec crate engine cylinder heads and I'll hopefully be getting into those in the near future. But for now, I need to focus on these so I can get my car going. If you want to know more about porting Vortec cylinder heads, check out David Visor's Vortec cylinder head porting video on YouTube. I'll leave the link in the description below. Or, if you want to know more about porting cylinder heads in general, you can check out his book. Now, I do plan on doing my own porting video in the future, more about general tips and stuff, but that's not going to be for a while. I need to get my car going. And this video wasn't really supposed to be about, you know, how to porting. It's more of just me videoing what I'm doing at the moment. So. Expect the next few videos to be about these heads. I gotta assess them and do some mods to them 
and get him on the car. So for now, thanks for watching. Keep it real.